What is going on everybody? This is Thrice with Able One Tech and Microflyer FPV bringing you an FPV pigtail mod for a micro quad. Let's jump into it and check out what we're doing. As you can tell right here with a wag of a finger, do not solder your FPV wire straight to the board where the power positive and negative slots are. You want to use an FPV pigtail. The reason for this is because you can have a stronger connection for the power supply for the FPV camera and this will help reduce any kind of static that you're getting when you go to throttle up or throttle forward or pitch forward. No matter which direction you're trying to go with your propellers, if you put too much power to them with the direct connected FPV wires to the battery port, you can actually, again, create a static effect on your FPV footage. So as you can see here, I'm prepping the wires, getting them ready to solder onto the big tail wires. You want to connect the positive with the positive, negative with the negative, red to red, black to black. If you're colorblind, please get help. Word of caution, you may not think this is a big deal, but if you wire these wires wrong, you could potentially cause a house fire, kill your dog, make your grandma go crazy, drive your grandpa nuts, your father and mother could disown you, you could literally destroy the world. Just remember kids, fire and electricity is dangerous, so be cautious. None of those things I said are probably true, but just be careful anyways. As you can see by my hand having a seizure, this tape job was really not the best. I did not care for it and it actually got ruined later on when trying to waterproof it and being lazy and not actually taking the tape off to waterproof it. We'll see that in another video. Now this guy here doesn't really understand electricity and realize that power goes in one direction and you should probably put the pigtails in a certain direction. And if you don't know what that means, what I'm saying is this is the wrong end of the pigtail that I'm trying to put on the board. It is done right as the positive and the negative go in the right spots, which is something you really want to figure out first before you start soldering. Again, make sure the positive and negative wires are on the right terminals. But this is technically the male end of the port. It is not the female end. Technically, this part of the pigtail connection needs to go on the FPV camera itself. Again, this is going to be a learning channel. I myself am still learning and not always in the best ways. I may have caused some electrical issues this way. Do not do it yourself. Even though I connected this pigtail backwards, it still runs electricity to the camera. The issue, as it was explained to me, is that instead of in the long term the parts wearing out, it will actually cause a more short term wear out and rapidly decay the parts faster because of the misregulation of current. I'm still learning about electricity. But make sure not to be like me, give you a thumbs up and say everything's good to go, burn a couple houses down, and then know you made the mistakes. Believe me, your insurance goes up. Well everybody, it's that time again. As you can see, the FPV camera setup worked no matter whether or not I made a mistake. Uh, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. But remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Make sure to check out LALTradio.com as well as AbleOneTech.com. See all the things that we've got going on. And hit the bell for some notifications to make sure you see more content like this as well as other tech videos coming from our channel. And that's it for me. Remember guys, fly fast and fly high. This is Thrice, your microflyer guy.